Hello friends, welcome to Vetech. Object oriented programming through C++. Session inheritance and topic is object as a class member. See here, we learned the inheritance topic how the properties can be extended from one class to another class. Here, properties of one class can be used in another class using inheritance concept. And here one point is using the object of the class as a member of another class member in the another class this is the concept called object as a class member in sometimes inheritance it is possible and allowed to define base class object as a member as in derived class and see the declaring the object as a class data member in another class is known as a delegation concept inheritance and delegation both are talking about the relation among the classes and inheritance giving one type of relation and here delegation gives one type of relation here. When a class has an object of another class as its member, such a class is known as a container class. So here this container meaning nothing but the class, one class having object as its member of the other class. So this is possible in, in our programs. Normal way you can declare in a single program, you can declare multiple uh, classes or maybe two classes example. And we are taking one class's object defined as a member in another class. So such type of classes we can call as a container classes. And such type of relations we are using uh, through uh, relation to the classes is nothing but delegation. Coming to the inheritance, see here in inheritance, the derived class can use members of the base class. That is the point we already covered and known very well. Here, the derived class is a kind of base class. So, as I told you that inheritance and delegation talking about the relation among the classes, the inheritance is clearly taking that it's a kind of relation. It's a kind of relation. That derived class is nothing but a kind of base class. And the programmer can also add new members to the derived class. This one is already known and we did some example programs also in the previous topic and coming to this delegation point of view the class consists of objects from other classes so here delegation talking about the members of as a class objects of the other class in another class so here the composed class uses the properties of other classes through their objects this is very very important here to learn about how to define these objects and defining as a class members and here this kind of relationship known as has a relationship has a relationship inheritance talking about the kind of in type of relation here it is has a relation the class has a relation by defining the other class object as a member of this current class so this way we can give the relationship or containership that's why we call the delegation property applied classes among basic uh, in, in uh, relationship like a kind of relation this concept is called as a container classes next one see here one example scenario of uh, how this class object defined as a member in another class see here i have a class a and the members defined inside this class A and I have a class B in the same program. I have two classes in my program here. I can use this uh, other class object as a member to this class. Here I am using this class object uh, object of class A as a member of class uh, as a member inside the class B. So this is the concept we illustrate that object defining as a member of the class. Coming to the example program. As yes, it is work in the real time case, we can have the two classes in program and we can define this object as a class member. So consider the class declaration here. I have a class 1 in public section. I have variable x and I have a constructor and inside this constructor I am displaying the value constructor of class 1 along with this actual x variable initializer with 20. So this is the behavior of this constructor of this class 1 and I have another class in my program class 2 and this is the scope of this class 2 and inside this class 2 I have a public section and variable k 
and this k is defined member as a class 2 and this is the special statement here we talk about defining object of that class 1 as a member inside public section of the class 2. So, i space y here i is nothing but a class name and y is a object of the class 1. So, this object can be used here as a member and see I have another uh, constructor here constructor of this class 2 and it initializing the k data member of this class 2 with 13 and displaying one statement constructor of class 2. Now, another member function here defined in this class 2 and show function it displays the value of x and here I am accessing this x value through object of the class 1 that is y. So, y dot x here indicating that directly accessing the public member of the class 1 that is x. So, I can call y dot x as it is possible in, in our program. Why? Because here if you observe there is no particular relation is specified between these two classes but still it is possible to define the class 1 object as a member of this class 2 in the public section and I can use this object y to call the public member of the class 1 that is x by y dot x. So, and also displaying k value. So, this is the scenario and behavior of these classes in my program and coming to my main function, I define one object like x of the class 2 and you may take this may change like a if you confuse it with this x variable and x object. So, I have defined an object a here with class 2 and I can call this show function using the object a here a dot show and it displays the values on the screen in order of execution of these constructors. First it calls the constructor of class 1 and, and it calls the constructor of class 2 and the values of x equal to 20 and k equal to 30. And when we call the constructor of class 1, it is initializing the value x with 20 and when it calls the constructor of class 2 and it displays the value of uh, x value through object y and displaying the k value directly through the function. So, this is example scenario of this standing how the object can be defined as a member in the another class and we will go for another one. So, see here this is using inheritance concept. In the previous example, we, there is no relation between class A and uh, class 1 and class 2. But in this example, we have a relation inheritance and kind of relation here. Class A is a base class and here class B is a derived class derived publicly from base class A. And in this class, we have a private section. I have defined this x as object of this class A, base class A along with one data member, private data member of class B derived class. And inside public section, I have a constructor of this derived class B. This is the constructor definition. And here, I am taking some different accessing behaviors of the variable of the base class integer A. So, I, I have taken the access policies based on three ways. The first one, scope access operator usage. So, I am using, I am accessing the variable A of a base class inside this uh, constructor of this derived class through scope access operator, how it is possible. So, we can access this variable A of base class by specifying the, by using the scope access operator. A is a class name, base class name followed by scope access operator and followed by variable name. That it access the variable of the class A and it can, we can enter the value and that value is loaded into A, right. And second one, I am using, I am accessing the same variable of the base class variable A using object of the class in this way. As I defined x is a variable of this class and x is acting as a now object of the class A base class and I can access x dot A directly inside the derived class. It is a normal prop statement given in the inheritance topic and it can extend properties like. And another one, I am directly calling member variable without using any scope access operator as well as the object as a child class, as a derived class of A, if this class B can directly access the members defined in the public section or maybe a protected section 
as it given rights to derived classes so it can directly access say in a we can read these values in three times with the same variable a and also i am reading the variable b in that is the member variable in defined in the derived class and there is a destructor in my program in this class 2 and class b it displaying the values of a every time with the scope access operator i am displaying accessing and displaying with the object also i am accessing variable and displaying and with the same directly i am accessing and displaying on the screen through this destructor point of view and also displaying the value of b and this constructor and destructor can automatically call when we define object of the class b so here in main function i have defined one object to this derived class b then these two constructor and as well as destructor both will call com by compiler automatically and it asks you first when the constructor the order of execution constructor will first call and object creates and at the end of when the scope uh, control go out of the scope destructor will call and deallocate the memory for this object n so when it constructor call it asks about you the value every time the first one is access scope access operator and second one is the directly from object and third one is a we are directly accessing every time i am entering the different value first time through scope access operator i have given value 5 next time i am accessing the variable a using object of the class then i am replacing this value with 10 and again i am directly accessing by giving value 15 it simply modifies the same variable based on the same so why because i have defined only one variable one object of the class and i am entering the value b with 20 when i am calling and after constructor execution compiler automatically calls the destructor and it displays the value of a that is three times i am accessing through scope access operator the current value is 15 that will be displayed i am accessing the same variable through object as it is 15 displays and then i am accessing directly as it is display on the screen same value and i am accessing b through directly b equal to 10 20 so this is the way of using finding class object as other class object as a member data member inside the another class thank you